Okay, so I just did a video, the previous video, on um, you know uh, splitting up output of a command and uh, giving it value. So what we did was we did this command. We did uh, if config, and we wanted to get the IP address. So I did this. I did set dash dash, and then the command with the output there. And then I can do echo dollar sign two to get the IP address. Four would have been the net mask and uh, five would have been, or sorry, six would have been the uh, broadcast IP, um, which is great, very simple, a lot better than doing a bunch of cutting and multiple times to get those into different values. Um, one issue with this is that, you know, you're replacing uh, these variables here, which in a script or a function might already be used. Uh, but also, right after making it, I was like, you know what? I'm basically creating an array here, which, um, doing it as a regular array, uh, you'll be able to label it a little bit better. So let, let me show you what I mean by that. First of all, let's change this command a little bit. Um, so instead of this, I was grepping for this, really, I'm, it doesn't really make a difference, but to make sure we get the right um, device, so you might have a wireless card or an Ethernet card or both or more than one of each, uh, I really should specify which device I want. And then here instead of, uh, I, yeah, I can grab that. And then I don't have to worry about this head command because I don't need to grab the first one. I'm getting the one from this. So now I should still be able to echo dollar sign two and get the IP address. So that's shortened it up a little bit. I do need, need that head command if I say which device I want. Okay, but let's do this same thing, but put it into a regular array. So I'll just call the array IP. And I'll say equals, and then I just put this in parentheses like this, and now I can say echo, and I will say dollar sign IP, oops, IP, and then I can say IP2 or IP4. Obviously, if I did one, it would you know give us the other uh, outputs from that, the other columns. Uh, so I mean, this is a little bit longer than typing this, but you kind of know what it is. It's labeled properly. You're not necessarily overriding uh, variables that might already exist. So I just wanted to bring that up. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Really, uh, you know, you get in, in habits of doing stuff, which, you know, allows you to get things done. But lots of times in the past, I would have done this by doing, if I want the IP address, I would have done, you know, basically uh, a few cut commands and all that stuff and put that. And then I'd run the whole series of commands again if I needed the net mask or the broadcast. I would run multiple things. So cutting down the number of processes and shorting the command by using an array, either using the set command or array is definitely a better way to go. Uh, but I think this is a little bit clearer, although the output is a few characters longer, uh, but we're actually putting it into array call IP or whatever you want to call the array. So that's it. D don't do this though, because uh, that's going to then put the whole command or the whole output of the command like so. You won't be able to cut it up. So don't put these parentheses. That was the what I did at first when I first tried this, uh, which again would tell it to ignore the spaces and say in these parentheses is one value. So I hope that made sense. And yeah, just after doing the last video, I was like, oh, you know what? There's, there's probably a better way to do that. That is really obvious. I should have realized a long time ago. But again, you kind of have like your mindset on how to do something because you've done it so long and you keep doing it that way. Uh, so anyway, Thank you for watching. I hope that you do enjoy my videos. If you do, think about subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. All that stuff is awesome. But you can also support me over at Patreon.com, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. There's a link to that in the description, as well as a link to my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's, again, a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Um, and you can also find a support section there where, other than just Patreon, there's also a PayPal link if you want to support me that way. I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.